Hey guys, uh, this is a tutorial on CD Radiant. Uh, CD Radiant is the program that is used to make Call of Duty maps. So if you're interested in making Call of Duty maps, you're watching the right tutorial. So here's your basic uh, interface. You have your 2D window, your 3D window, and your textures. So if I open up some textures, these are your textures and what they'll look like pretty much in game or on your section. Um, now if I was to draw something in the 2D window, you would see it in the 3D window as it would look in game. See? Uh, you can create walls and such. Like that. And this is what it would pretty much look like in game. Except I'm using a, a texture caulk. This is um, pretty much invisible to COD. And um, it's it's very useful for compiling big maps and something I advise using. Now you saw me change my view. All I did was press Control Tab, and I switched it right up here. It shows from the X Y top to the X Z front and to the side. Back to the top, front side. Uh, you can also expand this out, and here's your height right here. I don't really care for that. I like the uh, control tab. But it's personal preference. Um, so if I wanted to texture this whole block right here, you just select it by pressing uh, shift and left clicking. And then go to textures, find the texture you want to use. And there you go, you textured it. But look at this. The uh, flag's been cut off. So all you gotta do is press Ctrl F to fit it. Of course that looks kind of weird looking, but you, you get the idea. Um, now say I just wanted to texture one side, like this side, but leave the rest caulk. You just press Ctrl Shift and left, 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 left mouse button. And then you just select that side and one left. Um, Let's see what else is there. Uh, to move around, you just right click your mouse button and move. Same with here, you can also use it here, or the mouse wheel. Zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Uh, let's see, move up and down, pressing control and right mouse button. Um, press Z twice to look down, up, down, up. These are all different kind of buttons. A, A goes up, Z goes down. Uh, if I wanted to duplicate this wall, you just press spacebar, and you basically just clone the wall. Now if I wanted to delete this, you press backspace. Uh, you saw me do use these, these are your x axis, your, your axis, axes, so you can switch it on its x axis, its y axis, or its z axis, and you can flip it on its z, y, and x axis. Uh, that's some of the basic stuff. You can also use the hollow tool. So if I have box and I want like a hole here, you just press the, um, actually it's the CG, CSG subtract. And then it just cuts this up for you in different pieces. Um, to use the hollow tool, however, you can just press the hollow tool right here and it just hollowed your box out. So you can, it's big. Um, clipping tool, we'll get more into this later, basically that's all it does, it just clips it, um, however, whatever angles you want, it be straight angle, now when you use it, when you uh, clip something, press X to clip, and click two points and if you like how it is press enter and it'll only save this spot if you 
don't like how it is, press Ctrl Z and go back. Uh, open the clipper up again. Clip it again. If you want both both things that you clip just a split in the middle, just press Shift Enter. Okay. Um, and if you if you clip it, but you don't like it, just press Escape. Like I said, we'll go into clipping later. Uh, you can change the grid size for easier editing or very big editing. And this is pretty much the uh, interface of CV Radiant. Uh, like I said, we'll go into more a little bit later in some of these tutorials, but I want to keep these quick and simple. And we'll go into uh, keeping uh, track of all your stuff next tutorial.